Hey guys, welcome to Tamarnool Pilates and Wellness. Today's video is all about Pilates for digestion. So if you're feeling a little rumbly in your tumbly, this is the workout for you. Go ahead and grab a mat and then we'll get started. Okay guys, let's get started. So you're just gonna sit comfortably. You can either sit on the floor or you can sit in a chair if this isn't comfortable on your knees. Just go ahead and cross your legs and I'm going to just take a nice deep breath, breathe in and exhale. Okay, I want you to have your hands gently placed on your knees and we're going to start with little uh, torso circles. Here's so kind of gently warming up the abdominal area, circling. And with each circle, you can make it a little bit bigger and really think of rooting your hips your legs down into the mat. Really start to pull the abdominals in, especially as we round to the back, deep in the abs. Start to feel that connection in there that we're going to go into a little bit more later on. So you one more in this direction. And reverse. Good. It should feel really nice. If this feels a little bit uncomfortable, just make your circle a little bit smaller. And let's do this two more times. Just nice and easy. And last time. Okay, come back to center and go ahead and lay down your back. We're gonna start with a pelvic curl. Have your feet planted down to the mat, arms down by your side, and really start to feel the connection in your abdominals, rib cage pull together. Take an inhale, peel the hips up off the mat, articulating the spine as you lift the hips up. And exhale, lower the hips down, gently all the way. Okay, we'll do this three more times. And really feel all 10 toes onto the mat, the glutes and the hamstrings start to engage. Lifting the chest, Abs are still pulled in, and lower back down. You guys, two more times. Really feel your arms pressed into the mat. Inhale. And exhale. And last time, lift up. I really like to feel kind of like a lengthening through the abdominals, through the torso, nice and long and lower back down. Good. Okay, bring your right leg up to tabletop and the left leg comes up to meet it. Good. Now this, this position, you want to have your legs and your feet all glued together. If it helps, you just place a pillow between the legs. Arms come out to the side, palms up towards the ceiling. Okay, take an inhale. Slightly lower the legs down towards the side, but not all the way to the floor. Use your core to hold your legs there, and then pull it back in. So your palms are face up towards the ceiling, so you're not like gripping the floor. If you are doing that, then you are lowering your legs too far down at this time. So just go as far as you can, using the abs and feeling that engagement, but not so much that you start to feel a lot of tension in the body. Good. One last time. And come back. Good. Hug the knees in. Take an inhale. And exhale. So we're going to be doing a lot of twisting and rotation that will definitely help with opening up the um, digestive system and open up the torso a little more to get some relaxation through there. And now lower the left leg down towards the mat and hug your right knee in towards your chest. Give a nice tug, a little stretch. And now this move I actually adapted from a yoga workout I really enjoy for digestion. So we're just gonna do a little kind of like yoga lattes now, I guess you'd say. We're gonna incorporate some yoga and then straight a little Pilates move on to the end of it. So just start by taking an inhale, curl the head up, deepen the abdominals, really feel the whole torso pressing into the mat, and now flex both feet. So we're creating like a compression on the digestive organs right now by pulling our knee in towards our chest. 
which will cause some stimulation to you. And then bring your left leg up, deepening the abs, energy through the heels, pull it in towards the knee, reaching the opposite leg out. And then lower the leg down, lower the head down, and switch legs. And the left leg pulls in, a little nice stretch. And I like to feel like a nice oppositional stretch here. So as I pull this knee in, this hip is reaching out in the opposite direction, really lengthening the leg out of the hip. And we curl the head up, deepen the abs, flex the feet, lift the bottom leg up. If it's too difficult to lift the bottom leg up, just keep it on the ground, that's okay. And lower it down. Okay, there's a little Pilates, or yoga move. Now comes our Pilates, single leg stretch. We're gonna repeat that setup, pull the leg in, curl the head up, lift up the left leg, stretch and flex the feet, and now we're single leg stretch. Does that like feel the last magic? I love it. And switch. Good. Try to curl up a little bit higher, hollowing out the abdominal wall. Now, of course, if you're having like digestive issues, you're not going to hollow, but just kind of like keep that image in your mind. And switch. Good. Keep a nice natural breath. And let's do two more on each leg. And two, and switch, and last one. Good, hold this position, deepening out a little bit more. And lower the leg, lower the head. And let's bring both knees in. And just kind of like rock the hips side to side. Okay, hands underneath your thighs. Go ahead and walk yourself up to a seated position. And straighten both legs out in front of you. And we're going to do some more twisting action through the torso now. So my legs are glued together, my toes are pointed, and bring your arms out to the side, palms facing out. Okay? So imagine you're wearing a corset, zipping your ribcage together, keeping the abs pulled in, and now twist over towards the right, and twist over to the other side. And twist as you twist. My arms are just following what my torso is doing. The movement is being initiated through the waistline. Good. And with each twist, try and go a little bit further. And twist the other side. All right. One last time. Keep your hips anchored down. And twist. Great. Okay, keep your arms where they are and open the legs and mat with distance apart and flex the feet. We're moving to a saw. So just repeat that twist and then you're going to dive forward towards your foot, drop the forehead towards the knee, lift it up, open the chest, and other side. Twist, drop down, nose towards your knee. And twist. So as you twist and dive down, keep your hips down. The opposite hip is going to want to pop up. It's totally normal. Just try and keep reaching it down. And twist. And up. Good. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Twist a little further. And exhale. And up. Open center. Good. Lower the arms down. Zip your legs together and flip over onto your belly. Okay, so this series on our stomach, if it's at all uncomfortable right now on your abdominals, you can just skip it. And maybe the next time you do this video, um, I suggest maybe doing it couple days in a row, it's not too strenuous, so do a couple days in a row until you start feeling like you have your digestive system back, and if you have to do this the second day or the third day, that's totally fine. And if you want to fast forward through the video or just keep doing some more songs, that's totally cool too. Alright, so flip over into your stomach, palms facing down, and forehead down to the mat. 
We're going to take an inhale. Exhale, lift the chest up. Good. My fingertips are reaching towards my toes. My legs stay down to the mat. I'm opening the chest up. And lower back down. Good. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale, lift and open. And lower. Inhale. Exhale, reach. And lower back down. Last time. Inhale. Exhale, lift. And lower. Good. Let's go into a little child's pose. Always a nice idea to stretch out the back after you've done some back center work. And when you're ready, come up to a seat position. And we're going to do one of my favorite Pilates mat exercises, the mermaid. So the classic position would be to bend both legs in like this, but if it's too much on your knees or it's not comfortable in your hips, you can adjust it by sitting with one leg in front of you and one leg bent. And if that's still uncomfortable, you can just sit like this. All right, so take your position of choice. In any position that you're in, you still, even though like right now, my, most of my weight is over on this hip, because my feet are over here, um, you still want to think of lengthening equally through both sides of the torso, reaching both hips down to the mat as equally as possible, even though anatomically it won't be totally equal. So bring your arms out to the side, Palms facing down, abs in, take an inhale, and as you exhale, lower your hand down towards the mat, and stretch over. Good. My whole forearm comes down. We want to be careful we're not sinking down. We're staying lifted, and as my hand reaches in this direction, my hip is reaching down in this direction, and that's where you get a really nice stretch. And press off with this hand, back up, and then... Stretch over to the other side. Oh, I feel so good. And inhale. And exhale. Reach over. And up. And stretch. Whenever I do this exercise, I was thinking of my sister because she loves mermaids. Hey, Nicole. Hope you're doing this. And up. Or Little Mermaid, because that was like my favorite Disney movie as a little girl. But um, switch over to the other side. Now that I've watched it again as an adult, like with my kids, I realize it's actually like kind of upsetting. It's like girl on girl issues, the whole movie. I don't know, has anyone else realized that? It's Ariel with Ursula, and then it's just uh, it's a little, it's a little dysfunctional. But, um, but yeah, I guess a lot of Disney movies are kind of like that, if you think about it. Is that just me? No. Anyway, let's do two more times. And reach over. And up. And stretch. Good. Last time. Reach over. And up. And stretch. Guys, okay, that's it. That is your Pilates for a digestion workout. Like I said, you can do this a couple days in a row until you start feeling like things are back on track. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below and I will answer that as quickly as possible. All right, guys, have a good day and be sure to subscribe to the channel because there are going to be more videos coming soon. All right, bye.